Works. It's a story you will only see here on 23 ABC News. 23 ABC's Twilon Nugent joins us now with the very latest on this case. Twilon. Tim, Jackie, imagine your brother goes missing and you find out he was killed in your own home while you were sleeping. That was the reality for Dickie Martinez. Today, her brother's killer, sentenced to prison for the rest of his life. Oh, that made me went to church without me. We walked to church together. Not in church. An aspiring cartoonist reported missing by his sister in May of 2013. We, we, couldn't, we couldn't find him. Two days later, 45 year old Kelly William Gill, gregarious and kind, was found wrapped inside blankets. He was in that guy's closet. A robbery that went too far. 18 year old Darren Osby planned to steal cash from his disabled housemate, but ended up killing him and stashing his body in his bedroom. He took money from Gill and bought a car. He had plans to put his body in the trunk and dump him, but didn't work out. Because the car broke down, and now Osby is finally facing the consequences of his crime. The defendant thought he could take advantage of him because he was disabled, um, and now as a result, he's going to spend the rest of his life in prison. Osby was sentenced to life without parole for first degree murder. Still, Dickie Martinez is without her brother and one of her best friends, trying to move on two years later. You're supposed to forgive the person to be able to move on. And I'm trying to forgive him for what he has done to my brother. Dickie Sue is celebrating her birthday today. She says it's a bittersweet gift that her brother's killer was sentenced to prison this morning. Live in studio, Twila Nugent, 23 ABC.